Hello everyone. I just want to show you um, this particular custard apple tree. It's very interesting because how out of all the custard apple trees that I have on this land, I always feel like this one is might be when they graft or Marcot the branch, it was more like a male. I don't know whether it's such a thing. It's like it's more like a, a male branch that um, busting out more male flowers and anything else. So it has been many, many years and uh, it's grown at the rate the same as the other trees, but it doesn't have a lot of fruit. And I always assume that it's uh, African pry variety. But apparently it's not, and and it's, it's not even a Paxton. Um, so, you know, the Paxton prolific. So that's the other tree. And if you looked at the fruit that I, you know, I record, the shape is quite different. And when I think about it, it's kind of like the tropic sun. I, this is like from a memory a long, long time ago. It looks to me like the tropic sun. It's a different variety, which... Um, to me, this looks kind of like more of the the sugar custard apple variety crossed with something else. Now, this tree, a year or so ago, they, there was only one fruit. And, uh, you know, I was really excited because we pruned it heavily. And I just saw that there was a lot more male flowers than female flowers. But now, you know, I look at the tree and I'm really surprised there are more fruits. And it looks nothing like any of the fruits that I have because I'm very, you know, <laughs> very primed to see uh, um, African Pry or Paxton. They have a certain look about them. Or one of the tree has a very in-between one. It's like a sour soap and a uh, Paxton mixed together, something of the kind. And it tastes a little bit different. So I'm intrigued uh, to wait and see what this year bring because this tree has been you know um underperforming <laughs> compared to all the other ones but at the same time it's it's a unique tree because it's uh it's nothing like the others and i just want to celebrate its uniqueness i don't think i've given it any much of any attention and um you know i haven't been so very uh considerate towards it <laughs> <laughs> well my parents are but I don't talk about it as much and I don't record you know um, anything of the sort but if you look at the fruit you know you can get away with saying that it looks like a Paxton but like on closer um, you know encounter if I look at the fruit here it doesn't look like a Paxton it doesn't not at all It's like this beautiful heart shape. Um, and certainly there, there, there are about five or six of them. There we have that, that tree. So, um, you know, the thing is, I, I would just want to encourage you to, to keep on. I mean, once you've grown a tree, it's already at that at that uh, rate of growth and you wouldn't want to cut it down. Just give it an opportunity. Just like any relationship, right? You give, you give opportunity for it to grow and eventually it might be fruitful one day. It might be. <laughs> so that's how I feel about that tree. Um, and it, look, it has surprised me tremendously. Um, so I'm walking towards the African Pry variety here. And uh, let's see. Maybe I, I will walk out to the, towards the Paxton Pry as well. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't look anything alike. That's this is African pry. Okay. Oh wow! It's like crazy amount of fruits. This is crazy. 
Um, see what I mean? There's little ridges that are quite different. Oh my god. And look when they're babies. So this is one tree of many. Oh <laughs> wow. I mean, I don't know whether it's captured on camera or I'm going too fast, but it's just like so many fruits. So many this year is unbelievable. It's and I can see down there is probably the same. Yep. Oh, in the distance.